This is why I train in martial arts. Where the chicks set, where the hands, where the holes, where the throws, you know what I'm saying? See, it's called Organic the Alienaire and find this video on it. Just search for his channel, and if you get to that channel, you can't find it. Search for on that channel, boy gets jumped because he won a basketball game, something to that effect. The reason why I refer you to his channel is because as far as social commentary and ramifications go, I couldn't have said it better myself. I may not 100% agree with his take, I 99% do. But I'm going to stay in my lane and just talk about a couple of practical self-defense things in this. Not that I'm blaming the young man, because especially at the age that he is, he wants to be included. He wants to fit in with his peers. So telling him not to go outside is probably not practical advice, even though it's probably the best advice. And that of all honesty, if I had to do it over again, even with my own children, I would have especially kept my son just inside a lot more. Okay. But I'll tell you one thing that I learned, and probably one reason why that didn't happen to me, is I stopped playing basketball. I just did. I would not play basketball outside of a organized sport. I would not play basketball unless you are in a rec center. I would not play basketball with just random people on the courts. Because some people act like basketball is proof of their manhood. It is just a game. I find it ironic that people are more violent playing basketball than when they are doing combat sports and martial arts. In combat sports, especially, you're being rewarded for hurting the person or at least simulating something that's combative. Hence, that's why it's called combat sport. People take combat sports and martial arts to learn how to fight. And yet they're less violent than things that you see like this on the basketball court. So, like I said, if you had a rec center, you playing basketball, you had a community center, I see people at community centers behaving just fine. But when you're out there just on the neighborhood unstructured courts, people say, hey, we want to put up these basketball courts to give the youth something to do. This is what some of them choose to do. And you can blame their mamas. You can blame their lack of daddies. You can blame society. You can blame racism. You can blame whatever you want. And yes, those are factors. But we have to be honest about human nature. There are just violent people out there. I believe that there are people who could have had Mother Teresa for their mother, Jesus Christ for their father, and they still would turn out to be satanic. I just think that. I just think if there's anything the story of Cain and Abel tells us in the Bible, is that it's just some people that are just not going to act right. I don't care. They literally, one generation removed from the Garden of Eden, come from Adam and Eve. And yet Cain's still going to want to kill somebody because he didn't get his way one time, because he felt slighted, because he felt jealous. Now, a lot of people on the Organic the Alienaire channel have looked at that video that I just show the clip from and just said hey you know if that boy went back and shout out the place or shout out the school or did something like that i wouldn't blame him and i honestly you know i feel that's the wrong approach but i mean i would understand why he did that 
I wouldn't recommend that he do that. If it was my child and he wanted to go to school with a gun, I'd take the gun from him and then we'd probably wrestle around and then we'd hug like it's a hood movie or something. But, you know, I understand that type of anger. What they did was a crime. They are recorded doing a crime. It's viral. So, I would like to know why some arrests have not been made. I'm pretty sure if law enforcement put their noses to the grind on this one, they could pretty much identify the people in that footage and take them off the streets. Now, I know nobody is going to quote unquote snitch. It's not snitching if you're not involved. They're not going to inform because they don't want those guys coming back after them and beating them up. And quite frankly, I can't say I blame them. I don't necessarily fault people who don't report crimes because who's going to protect them? Are you going to protect them? You YouTubers who are going to type little racist comments about how bad black people are, even though uh, practically every country on earth has police which tells you that crime is endemic to the human condition. Are you going to report the people who you say don't want to say anything? No, you're not. So I don't blame them for that. So since crime is endemic of the human condition, so is cruelty and people wanting to dominate each other. If you have, and this kid looks like he's probably a good kid. He just wants to hang out and fit in because a lot of children his age want to hang out and fit in. If you have a child like that, Please put your child in a martial arts class so that if people try to rob him and beat him because he won a basketball game, he may be able to defend himself. Would he be able to beat all of them up? He might be able to, depending upon his skill level. But I guarantee you, if he had knocked the first one out and broke the first one's nose, the other ones would have paused. If he just got in some, hey, some knockout blows, if he laid three of them out, at least, you know, the rest of them might have been like, hey, I don't want none. I'm going to leave him alone. I'm going to back off. And he probably would feel better about the situation. So I haven't heard about any type of shooting that happened related to this. What I really would like to hear about related to this particular situation I hope there are some arrests made. Now, if that makes me a sellout because I want to see people who beat other people arrested. If that makes me a self-hating racist coon, then that's what I will be. But I don't think it's a self-hating racist coonish behavior because you don't want to see a whole bunch of boys beat up another boy just because the boy won a basketball game. I don't think that makes me a bad person. If it does, perhaps I'm not the martial arts instructor for you. So thanks for watching this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Please share this with people who like to talk, talk, talk about the martial arts. And if you are a praying person, please pray for that young man in this video. And peace. And pray that the other guys get arrested. Something needs to happen to them so that they know not to do that. Because what's going to happen, see, this is one reason why I believe in, in turning children in. Especially adults, not so much. I feel like because of this, I feel like you that old and you're still doing it. You are just going to bring on what I'm going to say now. I would like for them to get caught now and reprimanded now and punished now so that they cannot do this. And then when they become 18, that juvenile record to get wiped away. They won't have felonies. And they will learn now, no, no, do not do this. This is going to take you on a destructive path so that you can catch them before they grow up and the behavior is really solidified. Because if, if you don't stop them now, this is like the last chance to stop them. They take it into adulthood, they're going to get shot. Okay? Just that simple. It's going to be a, a justified shooting if they're beating and robbing someone over a basketball game, the guy pulls out a pistol and kills everyone, it's probably going to be justified. Then they're going to be dead. Then their mother's going to be crying and all that other type of stuff. If they have any children, then their children don't have fathers to help take care of them. So that's why I say turn them in now. But see, once you're grown and you do something like that, you get what you get. I'm sorry. You do.
because you shouldn't be doing that anyway. Peace.